Today I'm going to read you a sentimental book called I Wish You More. And it is um, all about the things that I wish for each of you and what I hope for you for your futures and for your lives. And so after I read, um, I'll go back over a few of the pages because they're very deep thoughts. Some of the things on the pages you might not quite understand, like what exactly the author means. Um, and so I'll just try to explain some of the ones that may not be as obvious. So, I Wish You More, written by Amy Krauss Rosenthal and Tom Lichtenhelm. I Wish You More Ups Than Downs. I wish you more give than take. I wish you more tippy toes than deep. I wish you more we than me. I wish you more hugs than ugh. I wish you more woohoo than whoa. I wish you more will than hill. So see how the boy is like using all of his will to pull this tree up the hill so that he can plant it. I wish you more can than not. I wish you more snowflakes than tongue. I wish you more pause than fast forward. She's looking at the little caterpillar crawling. I wish you more umbrella than rain. I wish you more bubbles than bath. I wish you more treasures than pockets. I wish you more stories than stars. I wish all of this for you because you are everything I could wish for. and more. So this is how I feel about you as my students. I love being your teacher and I think about you every single day and it breaks my heart to not be spending the rest of this school year in the classroom together. I it's been tough working through that because I care about all of you so much. I miss your stories. I miss your hugs and your smiles and your laughs and just sharing together in the classroom and your questions and your aha moments when you get excited because you figure something out. And I miss helping you work through things that are your, that you're having a difficult time with. I miss um, helping you learn life lessons. There are so many things that I miss about working with each and every one of you in the classroom. And I think about all of you every single day. So I wish you all of the wonderful things that this world has to offer. And I hope that each and every, every one of you have all of the good things in life and less of the bad things in life. So I'm going to go over a couple of the ones that um, were a little bit more abstract that maybe you need me to clarify. So um, here, this one says, like, I wish you more give than take. So this is a really good one, meaning that like, I really hope that you do more for others than you expect to be done for you. I, I hope that you go out into the world and that you look for things that you can do for other people in ways that you can be a bright spot in other people's lives, in ways that you can help people. That's where the joy in life can really come. 
here. I wish you more we than me. This is a really good one for this time. So we need to be together. We need to work together and cooperate with one another and care about all of the people in our world, not just ourselves. So, you know, this is a really good one for this time right now. It's really tough um, because of what's going on and with the pandemic. And, you know, it's a lot of us are young and we're healthy and we're probably going to be just fine. And we are going to be okay and everything is going to be good. But we need to work together to take care of each other because there are so many people in this world who are older than us and who need us to watch out for them so that they don't get sick. And so we need to watch out for each other and take care of each other. I wish you more will than hill. This is a big one. Basically what this one means is I wish that you are always, always willing to put the effort in and that your effort is always going to take over the challenges that you face. So when you're faced with a giant mountain in front of you or a giant challenge, I wish that you will have the will to overcome that challenge. And just like this little boy here in this picture, he is putting in every ounce of his energy and his strength to wheel this tree up to the top of this hill so that he can plant it. Because when you plant a tree, you do so many good things for the earth. And so he is using his will um, to take over the challenge of this hill. And then this one I'll explain. I wish you more can than not. This one's a pun because if you see here the knot that they spelled, it's the type of knot that um, would be like a knot in your shoe and or like any type of a knot in like a rope or something like that. Um, it's not referring to this knot where there's no K and it means like you can't do something. So it's a play on words. I wish you more can than a knot. What they really mean is I wish that you're able to do more things than you can't do. But in the same regard, I hope that you're willing to overcome those knots in your life, those tricky times that maybe cause you to stumble. And then I'll do this last one. I wish you more pause than fast forward. So. Our lives move at a crazy pace. We live in a world where everything is always go, go, go. And um, sometimes we forget to slow down and to just take it in and to just look around and enjoy and be thankful and grateful for the moment that we are in. And so I wish that for you. And this is a really good time to do that. You know, a lot of your families have probably slowed down. There's not as many places to go to right now. And so you have that time. You can slow down. You can take it all in and you can really enjoy the small things. And that's one silver lining in all of this. So I wish all of you so many wonderful things in life. I'm going to miss you so much. Big rays of light.